coming from the rear! I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. Governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension. Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Chickens with their heads cut off. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do you? Indeed, darling. But where was I? Oh, yeah. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks.
then. I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We got we'll you. cover you! Stop aiming, you idiots! Truth be told, Little things weren't window. much better behind the house. with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. How you like that? Oh! It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, you I was inside, dead, none the worse for wear. I passed dirty Dead in a rat in a trap! And upstairs, I found Billy and that? Charlie Bolton. Hey, you like that? You're done. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Just kept on coming. That's when Charlie got hit. Catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Kill him, for Christ's sake. Even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. said that it was time to cut and run. He directed that order at me, and I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. <laughs>
many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack, he's just Josh. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Making my way past a castle of fallen foes. Kill that big weed. I'm done with you. That's it for you. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. That's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. In a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. I stepped inside and. <laughs> Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. <laughs> 